Hey friends, it's day three of Dr. Morse's Monkey Diet Challenge and I'm still feeling good. Nothing noteworthy to mention just yet, but the day is still young. I have to work tonight and I have another job first thing tomorrow morning. So my goal is to get all of my recording and editing done tonight before I leave. So should something noteworthy happen while I'm at work, I'll definitely mention that in tomorrow's video. Now I have my herbal protocol spread out here and I've already started to dish out my herbs for the day. Um, I'm not going to talk about the herbs again, but it is time for me to take my herbs. So I figured I'd bring you along for the ride. So in this uh, shot glass, I already have my stomach and bowel herbs and I'm just going to keep going down the line here. <clears throat> but today's video, I wanted to focus on what it means when our skin starts to break out during detox. This is really the, the main noteworthy thing that I have to bring to the table right now is the fact that um, especially the skin on my cheeks, a little bit on my nose and a bit of my forehead has been breaking out in a little bit of acne. Now, um, I'm excited about this and this this also gives me some really helpful information about my body and how to further support it. So let's break that down. Now we all know that kidneys are king when it comes to detox. Our kidneys, one on the left side, one on the right side, filter the lymphatic fluid of each side of our body. Now, Whenever the kidneys start to become congested and dehydrated, whenever they stop filtering out that waste as well, the skin bears a vast brunt of that elimination. And that's why we call the skin the third kidney. When we see the skin starting to break out, we know that the kidneys are not filtering as well as they need to be, and that the skin is trying to push out more of that waste to help the body eliminate. Now, we also have to look at the location of the skin breakout. Sure, we can understand that if we see a, a rash or some kind of redness or irritation somewhere on the body, there is acidic waste in that area. There is lymph that is stagnant in that area. And we need to just keep hydrating and keep encouraging proper kidney filtration. But we, we do need to look at the location of this skin irritation so we can kind of tell more or less what's going on. So for me, this skin breakout is on my face, right? This is head congestion, lymphatic congestion in my head area. I'm missing my tonsils. And uh, unfortunately, those are lymph nodes that help to drain our head area. So without the, uh, the tonsils, we do have a bit more of a challenge in helping to drain the head, but that's okay still very possible. When the skin starts to break out and we start to see waste literally leaving um, our face, it, this is the body trying to purge waste as quickly as possible. Um, just like, all right, so sometimes this will happen, friends. This is a really great thing to show you. Um, sometimes when you make your own tinctures, and uh, I mean, this has even happened um, before with uh, Dr. Morse's formulas. Sometimes there is a little bit of fine sediment from the herbs that will settle in the bottle and sometimes in the dropper itself. So it helps if you have a really small, I doubt if you can see this, a really small paper clip that you can just stick into the end of your dropper to just kind of free up this dropper and, and allow it to work is magic. Boom, there we go, back in business. So, little trick, little trick of trade. Now, where were we? Um, all right, so yeah, lymph will try to move the, uh, lymph will try to leave the body as quickly as possible. Now, if our lymph is hydrated and moving well enough, then there's more of a chance that our lymph will just be able to take the waste away from our head without a major skin breakout. But if we are starting to see a breakout of the skin, especially in the face, we know the kidneys aren't uh, filtering properly, the lymph isn't moving quite fast enough, and so the body will find the fastest way possible to push that waste out. 
And um, sometimes that means the body opening up the skin and pushing it out through the skin. Now, how exactly do we help our bodies along whenever we notice these skin breakouts? If the, the, the irritation and whatnot isn't too severe and it is anywhere other than your face, I would highly suggest getting um, a dry skin brush and starting to, uh, starting to skin brush. And this is a really beneficial method that you can use to just slough off dead skin cells. I love um, dry skin brushing right before my shower. Ideally, you can stand in your shower so everything just kind of sloughs off in the shower. Oh, I know. Great talk, right? <laughs> but uh, it's, it's helpful. So dry skin brush if the irritation um, is on your body. If you have skin irritation on your face, I don't recommend dry skin brushing because the bristles are just too harsh on such delicate skin. So for the face and moving lymph in the face, I highly recommend Gua Sha. It is a phenomenal practice. You can get yourself a an oil with a lot of slip. I use an argan oil and I personally got a stainless steel Gua Sha tools because uh, they're non-porous, they're very easy to clean, they're durable, and it's just, it feels amazing, friends. So you can, after a, a good clean shower, um, put, put your oil on your face a little bit on your neck and you can take your tool and just work it over um, the areas of your face. You can look up uh, various videos on how to gua sha. Maybe eventually I'll put out my own. But it is a phenomenal way to move the lymph right underneath your skin and encourage that lymphatic waste to leave the, the facial area and eventually the, the head and the torso, right? So um, moral of the story today, when our bodies start breaking out on the skin, we know that one, our kidneys are not filtering well enough. Even if there is some kind of kidney filtration, it may not be quite enough for the amount of lymph that you were hydrating and stirring up. We also know that the body tries to find the fastest way possible to push out waste. And sometimes that does mean through the skin. So don't be afraid and don't be all frustrated and confused if and when this happens to you. If anything, we can start to embrace this process and understand, yes, I am hydrating lymph. It's starting to move. And this breakout is showing me I'm moving in the right direction. I just have to help my body along. And uh, we know how to do that, right? We're going to keep hydrating and alkalizing with plenty of raw fruits and vegetables because the more we can hydrate, the more our lymph becomes hydrated. Alrighty. It's time to do it. I have a, uh, a mug of peppermint tea here. I'll take the, the bag out. Don't underestimate the power and really the ease of a good store-bought herbal tea. Like a single herb like peppermint is phenomenal. A good ginger tea, really, really solid if you're struggling with uh, GI issues. I have been making my homemade stomach tea for a while, and today I was just craving a mug of peppermint tea. So in my hand, I have my liver and gallbladder capsules, and I have Dr. Morris's superfood blend. So I'm going to take these guys first. And here I have about a half a shot, half a shot glass of my herbal tinctures and a couple couple um, little dollops of peppermint tea. Guys, I'm just stalling at this point. I'm, I'm totally stalling at this point. So, uh, salud, cheers to health. <sighs> yeah, 
So that's it for today, friends. Um, let me know if you have any questions on anything I covered today. I know it's a bit all over the place, but um, such is my brain right now. We're on day three of Dr. Morris's Monkey Diet Challenge, and uh, I'm feeling good, but the brain fog is definitely flaring up. So bear with me, friends, as we work through this. Um, our bodies, our minds, our spirits have a lot of junk to work through. And this is such a process. It is a marathon. By no means is it a sprint. So stay the course. I hope you are keeping it real, keeping it raw. Remember, friends, that we are here to empower others. Baby Yoda style. <laughs> So on that note, guys, have a beautiful day. Let me know how you're doing on your monkey diet challenge and we'll talk tomorrow.